now you feel the heat coming off of those locomotives. Wow. Hey, welcome back everybody. I come up to seven mile today, even though I started the day down in Hamilton, which is just south of me, but we got one coming right now. And as you can see behind me, this guy's on the main. I believe a train or two is gonna pass him on the siding, which is closest to me. So that's actual first. I've never caught that up here in seven miles. So that will be quite interesting to see. Um, be big, good video. Right now, this guy behind me's got a red, so I believe that's what's definitely going to happen. And I hear a train horn in the distance, and it's getting closer. So, and you know what that means, everybody. Oh, and um, I forgot to mention it yesterday. Happy birthday to the Rev, Reverend Harry Wigmore. You know what I'm talking about, Harry Wigmore. Happy birthday, my friend. I really do uh, appreciate you being on the channel, being a fan. You are awesome. And uh, we're Facebook friends, so I'm on Facebook, my personal page, so if you want to find me, figure it out. You can do it. Um, hey, but you know what? It is election day here in Ohio and across many states in the nation. We are voting for a president, so get out there. Use your brain. Vote smart, folks. Um, anyways, we got a train coming. We got a train coming right now. And once it gets here, we'll get the video rolling. All right, everybody, stay tuned. All right, folks. Good Early mid morning, it's almost 11 o'clock here. I'm in Hamilton. Uh, God, why can't I remember this street name here? <laughs> well, it's Caldwell Street, the cross street over there, Caldwell South 5th. Um, that's where I am at the crossing here. You guys can hear a train coming. Sorry about the shakiness. I'm, I was leaning against the pole. It is windy out today. As you can see, we got some cloud cover, so I can film this way. With any luck, the cloud cover will sustain right now. Uh, so I don't have to, and if I use that word wrong, gosh, please, like, hey, don't use that word wrong. Uh, but hopefully the cloud cover will remain for right now. Uh, so I'm gonna go the gates down. Well, he's coming around off quick. Cabosil cars. I wonder if this is M510 headed up to Detroit. I have my scanner, but it's back in my truck. I don't wear my pocketed uh, button up shirt so I can put it in there. But it's uh, pretty warm today. Again. Chance of rain tomorrow. The temperature will drop back down to mid 60s. Be more seasonal. Cloud cover is remaining for me. I mean, getting sunny here and there, but more clouds than sun right now and wind. I'm in shorts and a t-shirt, and it's November 5th. I smelled lumber, and I don't think anything went by. Hmm. 
HKC roof. Every time I see HKC roofing, I think I'm gonna see my boy Henry Mitchell. I went to high school with him. If you know, if you're always around Cincinnati and you see a skinny guy on a, there's some slag, slag or, yeah, that's what that looks like. Uh, you see a skinny guy on the back of a metro bus or a billboard for HKC roof, that's Henry. He's a good dude, he's a good guy. Some older box cars right here, look at that. Duct tape on a box car, that's what that looks like. But I believe the HKC roofing guys going over there to the old depot. Magnesium hydroxide slurry. I'll show you guys the old depot here in a minute once this train passes. Gold family lines car. Covered hopper or grainer, whatever you want to call it. I'm uh, up, like I said, I'm up in Hamilton again. I'm gonna go back up to Waterworks at some point. We'll talk about the defect detector. I didn't get to talk about it last week because the events of the pedestrian strike down there in Lindenwald. I have no updates on that. I don't know how the person is doing. Media never reported on it because they only report on stuff if it fits them, like if the person died. And uh, I don't think the person did. Steel plates. Windy out today, so if I have wind noise in the uh, in the microphone, guys, I apologize. There's nothing I can really do about it. FMC. Huh. That's an old grainer right there. All right, there they go. We'll get beyond this junction box here. They go northbound. I believe that was M510 just by the way the Cavasil cars. Usually they don't have Cavasil cars. Anyways, there they go. Now let's go over here, talk about the old Hamilton Depot. Now, so that's the old Hamilton Depot, the small, the long building and the taller building. HKC roofing is over there. You can see them. They're working up on the roof that had a really bad leak problem. So getting that squared away, put a new roof on there. Now the whole uh, rumor, that's just a rumor, that they were gonna bring Amtrak up here and they were gonna make a stop up here but that means they would either have to do the platform all the way over here, or they would have to make another track coming off of there up to here. Now that means Amtrak would have to come all the way up here to this track and back all the way down there to where uh, the Indy Sub crosses Hamilton Avenue there, or 127. Uh, and they would have to back, you know, back down and go back because that's the way they go towards Chicago and through Indianapolis through Avon, because Amtrak has a huge facility up in Indianapolis. So, yeah, Hamilton Depot. They were 
down there. So that's it. Let's see what else we can get into, folks. Stay tuned. Okay, folks, I've moved up, moved up to the Waterworks Boulevard. I think the work zone's right up there that they've been calling. I see lots of flashy lights up there. And there's a high, there's a truck up there. Right now we're waiting on a southbound uh, Norfolk Southern train coming off Newcastle Sub. I'm back at the defect detector, so that's the defect detector. The front of the train will hit that defect detector. You'll hear a call out on my scanner. That's knowing the crew that the, telling the crew that the defect detector is working and is going to begin to scan everything about the train, the brakes, the axles, the wheels, everything that it needs to know. And uh, once it passes the defect detector, it will call out which track it's on, what direction, or not what direction, so what track it's on and how many axles. It'll tell the crew back that, and then usually the crew acknowledges the defect detector. Now, it's different on CSX than it is Norfolk Southern. Norfolk Southerns don't give the axle count. Um, and they usually don't uh, say what track they're on. They just say the mile marker, and our, our it says Norfolk Southern de equipment defect detector, uh, no defects, and that's it. So. Every defect detector different has a different voice. There's uh, some of them have female voices, some of them have male, and uh, some have robotics, some of them have more uh, human voices. So, let's wait for that train. It's not far from us, and then we'll get it on video. And then once it gets past the defect detector, we'll talk about it. All right, this crossing's about to go off because that train is on its way. All right, everybody, stand by. Keep it right here. All right, everybody, there go the lights on those gates. They are just cro cross buck and light protected. There's no bells, there's no gate arms, nothing. And if you don't see them, go on. I had a question about that yesterday. It's just that the camera doesn't pick up the LEDs. Anyways, here comes that Norfolk Southern southbound. It's a Z train designation, so it's intermodal. It's a little windy out and the sun keeps trying to peek out from the clouds. All right, let's listen to what I talked about here. He's going to bite, be diverging through Hamilton taking the curve to the Newcastle sub. So you'll see this train slow down just a little bit. He has to slow down to get through that interlocking in Hamilton and through downtown Hamilton. I'm just north of Hamilton. That's where Waterworks is. This is where I was last week before uh, M558 struck a pedestrian. Like I said earlier, I think I'm pretty sure that that person ended up surviving. I have no idea whether it's a man or woman or what. I don't know. I don't know any information beyond what happened. And nice if I did, but uh, maybe I can look it up. I don't know. But sounds like there's a happy ending. A person lived. They probably have injuries or something, but uh, beats the alternative, I guess. So right now, the defect detector is counting counting the axles, scanning for any hot brakes, hot wheel, axle issues, dragging equipment, anything, anything like that.
So the end, the end of the train is coming up. So the end of the train just passed. Well, hey, so hopefully, these guys won't stop talking. CSX equipment defect detector. Milepost 27.7. Track 1. No defects. No defects. Total axle 2. 4. 2. End of transmission. Well, the crew is supposed to acknowledge it. Anyways, so no defects. It scanned everything, gave the axle count, and it transmits its radio to the train crew and to dispatch so they all hear it. They know what's going through. They know what's going on. They're tracking the train anyway. So, uh, all right, let's see what else we can get into here. We're going to take... Well, before we do that, let's take a look at what's going on up there along the tracks. All right, everybody, keep it right here. All right, see that there's a truck way up there. They're working. There is a work zone, I think, up there in New River. Got our red signals. That could change. But there's a work truck up there. Not sure what you're doing. But that train you hear off in the distance is that one that just passed. Well, like I said, let's see what else we can get into. Well, everyone, I have uh, switched locations up to 7 Mile. I haven't been up here in a long time. Uh, well, a long time is more than a month. So, um, I heard a horn for a eastbound train. Or a southbound, whatever you want to call it. Coming down here and... Uh, See if I can get over. I can't tell where he was. There's no more light on. Well, he, yeah, he's coming into the siding. So all the way down there, he turns his ditch lights off. So maybe he's into the siding. So we're gonna see what happens. All right, everybody, stay tuned. Well, I take that back. He's not in the siding. He's on the main, and he has a red signal. So, I wonder why. I wonder if it's got something to do with the work zone in New Miami. But he's coming up, so let's kind of get away from the tracks just to make him feel a little better. And we'll get back to it. All right, he's slowly creeping up here. He's on the main. There he is. Let's see what's going to happen here. we creeping to a halt on the main. He still has a red signal, which makes me believe maybe something's coming up here. Gonna take the passing sighting. And there they go. I'd have to say they're gonna be getting on the CSX frequency here to be calling through the work zone.
Wonder what's going on. They're talking to dispatch. They're at seven mile. That's what they said, and maybe their PTO. I don't know. Unless they can't get permission to the work zone right now because of other trains. I'm not really sure. Or maybe got something coming up because everything's all red here. So, uh, there they are. They are stopped. We'll see what happens. And they're stopped. I'm going to turn the camera off and wait for something to happen. All right, folks, stay tuned. All right, folks, we got a train coming. As I said before, we got a train coming, and he is going to pass on the passing siding, which is closest to me. Now, I've caught a train going uh, southbound towards Cincinnati, starting from the siding, but I've never had a train coming northbound, taking the siding here in 7 Mile, and passing another train that's behind me that's sitting on the main. Uh, so this will be kind of cool to see. And, uh, you know, that'll be awesome. All right, the gates are going down there at... Uh, not some brain farting on that too, man. Kind of brain farting on all these crossings here. <laughs> but there go the gates over there. There's the train. Coming off of those locomotives. Wow. Cool. Look at this shot. That's amazing. It dips down like that. Look at that. Crazy how that dips down like that. Look at the cars going all wonky when it does that. It's in that jointed, uh, insulated jointed section of track, dip it down. Wendy, sorry.
there they go. Northbound on the siding. That's a first for me to catch that train going siding like that. That was really cool. Now he's going around this guy here. I wonder who's longer. So that's why. I bet this guy's longer. He's well, maybe that guy's longer. He's on the main. He's almost pulled all the way up to the end of the siding. So you know, usually these guys know how long this how long the siding is. They know that, so they use that to judge how long their train is, and they boom, they pull up the siding. So that's how they get that done. Well, if this guy doesn't get an immediate green, we know what's happening. Anyways, there goes that train. Let's hang out. Let's see what happens. All right, folks, stay tuned. Don't click away. Ooh, he just got a yellow. He just got a yellow, so he's going to be moving here. Oh, look, there goes a harvester. He got a, he now has a yellow, so let's see what happens. Well, he's got a yellow, but he's still idling, so I wonder if he's waiting on a green. So let's go up here, so we're not looking at my truck. There we go. Seems like maybe he's firing up. No, oh, he still has a yellow. <clears throat> He's waiting for the end of this train to pass, or the end of the last train to pass. Call out highball. Maybe. Still has a yellow. I don't know if you guys can see that. Yellow means he may approach, so I'm not sure. Usually can hear him. I'll pause the video, wait for that to happen. All right, he's released the brakes and he's moving, folks. There go the ditch lights. It's probably not going to sound his horn twice. They usually do. Boy, that thing sounds rattly like I pulled Geo Metro. <laughs> siding and then this guy so we'll see what we got with this mixed manifest here and then we'll hang around for a little bit we'll hang around seven mile for a few a little bit longer or see if we get anything else if not wow that's a short train that's a real short train Truck frames, I haven't seen a whole lot of those in a while, but these are empty truck frames cars. 
right here. Real short train. Didn't take long for him to get it going with that DPU on the back. DPU coming through. Powered up, working hard. Look at that thing, brand new. Well, let's see what else we get here. There they go. Cool, folks. That was a good one there. I like that. Nice little train meet going around the siding and him on the main. That was pretty awesome. Stay tuned. Don't click away. Uh, I've switched it back down to Heaton Street in Hamilton because it just wasn't anything happened up there in the Newcastle sub. Even uh, even if um, this isn't a Norfolk Southern train. I got enough, and the sun's starting to come out, so it's really hard to get away from it. I don't, like, it's right to the south. I don't even know how to, like, get out of it at this point, but I'm in Hamilton Heat Street. This is where all the gate, the gate runners are, because this is a very busy crossing. Um, and there's a train coming. So, uh, once it gets here, we'll get it rolling. All righty. There go the gates down here at Heaton Street. No traffic, no runners today. I said I was gonna leave. But there is I-142 coming down. This I-142. I haven't seen them in a while, which is the counterpart to I-141. I-141 and I-142 always run at some odd times, always changes. It's a daily train. There are two daily trains, you know, but uh, when they pass through here, you know, I-141 could be coming in the middle of the night, it could be coming in the middle of the day, or vice versa with 142. Yeah, the sun's getting ready to come back out, folks, just to warn you. They slowed down for the work zone in New Miami.
I don't know how long they are. I just heard their horn, and then I heard them call out clear Hamilton Depot, so I was getting ready to leave. I actually started the truck and everything. Put my seatbelt on, and uh, once I heard him call out clear Hamilton Depot, I said, well, might as well stay and film it. But they're going much slower than the last train. It's probably because the last train is still basically right in front of them and they're following them. So they got to give them a little room here. I would say the front of I-141 probably doesn't want to be right in that guy's uh, rear end. Sorry about the sun, there's there's really nothing, absolutely nothing I can do about it, besides not film. Tracks, the tracks run geographically north-south here, and the sun is moving into the southern hemisphere for their summertime down there. So that's kind of where it's ended up going towards this time of year so and since a lot of trains run predominantly north south through here all of them do geographically you're stuck so unless it's cloudy nothing really you can do well i'm uh Coming up on my year anniversary of starting my YouTube channel. I'm not sure when it is, but I know it's soon, so. Uh, <laughs> uh, you'll know when I know, basically. Yeah. I-141, I-142 is a longer one today, for sure. They are on their final home stretch of their journey. They'll end up in uh, North Baltimore, Ohio, one of the biggest intermodal facilities for CSX. Sometimes they recrew here, sometimes they recrew down to the Duval Yard in Louisville. Sometimes they work the ramp down here in Cincinnati at Guest Street. I don't know if they did today or not. Oh, oh. Here comes the end. And there they go. Like I said, they're on the home stretch of their destination, North Baltimore, Ohio.
That was pretty cool. Nice little unexpected catch there. All right. Alrighty, folks. Thanks for watching. Alrighty, yo. There's that train all the way down there through the fence. I believe it's a CSX train. It's windy here. Sorry about that. Wait for these gates. I'll go down any uh, minute here. Yeah, I'm probably not gonna get any runners. No traffic coming either direction right now. Oh well. This will probably be the final train of the day for me. paint scheme there. He's going slow because he's approaching the uh, the work zone in Hamilton. Or not Hamilton, New Miami. And I hear a siren headed this direction. Looking into the sun, I'm sorry about that. I don't know whether the siren's on that side of the tracks or this side of the tracks. I can't really tell. I'm trying to keep it out of the sun as most. It's you know. There's the sun back behind the clouds. I gotta last for long. Cloud cover's pretty much broken up. So Conrail box cars right here. Got three of them. There's some coal. A heavy car. There's another old one, Conrail. Can't even see the date on it. Or that one. Looks like 1980 on that second one. Ah, uh, sun. Coming directly into the sun. That's why I am done after this.
of a Conrail boxcar. It's not even your problem, dude. <laughs> the drivers are ridiculous. So much impatience going on just to my left. But I don't want to give any credit to a bad driver, so I'd rather keep it on the train. That. Some empty uh, continuous welded rail cars coming up. These cars hold rail pieces, continuous welded rail. You can see all the dust over there from the mounds of dirt where the old uh, Beckett building was, Beckett paper mill building, from all the high wind. And there goes the end of it. Or here comes the end of it. And there goes the end of it. All right, there they go, not too bad. Not a whole lot of traffic, but it's not even two o'clock yet, so schools haven't let out, and a lot of schools around here that are polling places are closed. New Miami was closed because they're a polling place, but I wanna thank you guys for joining me today. Thanks for tuning in. Thanks for hanging out with me this afternoon. I really do appreciate it. It's always a great time when you guys tune in and watch me and hang out. You know, it's always good stuff. Anyways, I am out of here. I'll be back at it tomorrow. Take care. Bye-bye for now. Hey, everybody. Thanks for joining me today out here on the rails in Hamilton at Seven Mile. We had a pretty good time up here. Um, I always usually do, but uh, well, I got some stuff I got to do, so I want to get home to do it. And, uh, you know, you spend three weeks on the road like I did. You know, life certainly tends to... Uh, take a back seat that home life and you got to catch up so I'm still doing laundry I'm still doing laundry all my clothes are clean but this time it's all uh, bedding that I used in my adventure trailer that I'm getting that all done and I still got laundry to do that's in my bedroom from uh, the past week or so I've been home because I didn't do it this weekend because I was gone but uh, hey anyways like comment subscribe share if you haven't done so already Hit that little alert button right there. You get the notifications for when I post. Please go ahead and smash that thing. And if you have more time, please watch another Joey Boats video. Because every video you watch really helps my channel. Helps it grow. And continue to watch those ads for me. Just a couple if you can. You don't have to watch all of them. But uh, watch them in their entirety. That's what helps pay the bills, pay the gas. And I really do appreciate it. But with that, until we meet again, out there on the rails, have a good day.